guys, so today I'm going to be doing a video that is actually super highly requested and I didn't know you guys would want this video this bad, but literally every single time I post a selfie on Instagram, everyone's like, can you please do a video on how you take your pictures and like what are your tips, what are your tricks. So today I'm going to do how to take the perfect selfie because I post a good amount of selfies on Instagram. So I'm going to show you guys how I take my pictures, the little tricks that go into taking the pictures, and then of course the editing process of the pictures, and I just want to thank the Airbrush Shop for working with me in this video. So without further ado, let's get onto it. So there are three keys when it comes to taking the perfect picture. You have to be, you know, feeling yourself, feeling your look right then, and then you have to take the picture, and then you have to edit the picture. I just want to quickly throw in there that editing is something that a lot of people perceive as a bad thing and like, oh, it's false advertising. It is not a bad thing at all to edit or airbrush your photos. It's completely acceptable. A lot of my photos on Instagram do have some airbrushing to them because maybe there's a pimple that I want to cover up or maybe my under eye circles look too dark. It's just a way to enhance something and sometimes in real life you can look bomb and then other times pictures just don't capture that same look. So it's not bad to edit airbrush your photos. It's very acceptable, it's not making you fake, it's just a way to enhance what you naturally see in the mirror that sometimes the camera doesn't capture, or sometimes it can be a way to make you feel good about yourself. And in some apps, like the Airbrush app, there actually is features of makeup, so if you're not wearing any makeup but you feel cute right then, take a picture and then you look at the picture and you're like, hmm, well my mirror and my camera seem to have a little disagreement right now. You can go in, you can add concealer onto your picture, you can brighten up your picture, you can remove any sort of spots or blemishes that you might have, you can smooth out your picture, add filters. So there's just a bunch of benefits and perks to the Airbrush app that sometimes people perceive as something that's bad, but I'm here to tell you that it's not bad. It's completely acceptable and don't let anyone ever tell you differently. Alright, so with that being said, let's get back to the first key step, which is to feel good about yourself. You have to be what you feel amazing in. So if that's no makeup, do it. If that's a full face of makeup, do it. You're only going to like to take the pictures in that moment if you feel good about yourself, because I don't know about you, but there have been days where I'm like, I really need to post something, but I look bad right now. Let me just take a few pictures, and you just know that they're not going to turn out well because you don't feel good in how you look at that moment. But like, when you feel good about yourself, you want to take pictures of yourself, and you want people to take pictures of you, and you want to be in pictures. Everyone says this, but it's so true. Lighting is so important. Like right now, it's gloomy and it's raining out, but I have two box lights. So they give me nice light, and it looks like it blurs out my skin a little bit. So I have a pimple, but you guys probably can't see it because it's blurring it out right now. So lights really do a lot. If you take a picture in a poorly lit area, it's going to look bad and it's going to make you have shadows in the wrong places and it's just not going to enhance your beauty. But if you have nice light, it's going to enhance it. Also, you have to know your angles and this takes a long time. I still don't know my angles, but I have a better idea than I did a year ago. For me, if I look dead on, I don't like that look because my nose flattens out on my face and it gets a lot bigger and I feel like you can really like see a double chin. So what I like to do is I always like to tilt my head down and eyes up and then to my left side a little bit and that for me just kind of hides this double chin a little bit. It enhances my cheekbones. You can really see them pop a little bit more. So then after you have all these little factors into account, go ahead and take your photo. Take a bunch because honestly, the more photos you have, the better. I always like to go into my photos and I like to favorite the ones that I think are good and then I go into my favorites album and then I will you know, narrow it down that way to see which one I like best. But it really is kind of like a process and you really do have to take a lot of photos to get a good one unless you're like, I don't know, super photogenic. So I will have like a hundred photos of myself and then I'll just like go through the ones that I like and delete all the other ones that I don't and then I finally have this one photo that I like. Now we can move on to the editing process. So right now on my Instagram, I've been going for like the no filter kind of theme. I just, I really don't filter any of my photos anymore. I used to heavily filter them and like heavily edit them to be super white and black. But now I don't do that. I just go into kind of fixing my face a little bit. So I use the Airbrush app. And this app is super easy to use because it is, like I said, really easy to use. And it's also almost impossible to over edit your photos, which I have seen so many photos on Instagram where I'm like, 
girl. All right, so it has a lot of features to use. So my favorites include the concealer, the whiten, the blemish. I just, I just like them all, okay? But there's smooth, blemish, whiten, brighten, concealer, and filter. The filters, like I said, are really nice. I'll normally filter photos for like Twitter or something, and I'll show you some of them. But like I said, I normally don't filter photos. So. I open up the airbrush app and I import a photo. This is the one that I chose because it has my teeth showing and I want to show you guys the whitening feature. So here I go in and I whiten my teeth and it really makes a difference. So you just go over it. It's really, really simple. You just go over it with your finger and you can click this little button to see the before and the after in the bottom right corner. Now I like to go in and conceal a little bit. This helps brighten up my under eyes and Really cool thing about this is that it automatically like tone corrects to your face color so you don't have to match anything. It's really, really easy to use. So there we have that. Nice and glam. Here I go in to fix up any blemishes that I have. So I just find little spots in my face and I click on them and they disappear. Don't you wish it was like that in real life because me too. So this just makes it really, really simple and really easy to cover up any little imperfections that I have. And I also like to go in with the smoothing effect and I like to smooth just around wherever I have porous areas like around my nose, on my nose, and on my forehead. And that's really, really easy and it doesn't look over dramatic at all. It looks super, super natural. It looks pretty much unretouched. It just looks really natural and you know, there's nothing wrong with doing this at all. I'm going to show you guys the filters really quick. I have two favorites. My first favorite is clean just because it keeps it looking really clean. And you can increase the intensity with your finger. And this one's just really nice for a like no filter look. But then I also love a good faded filter. These are like my favorite filters ever. So I love that kind of look. There's a before and after. And after that, you're just going to save it to your camera roll. And it's, that's it. It's super easy. Check out the link down below if you guys want to get this product. It's going to be available in the App Store or also on Google Play. So that is all for this video. It is super simple and super easy. So I hope you guys all enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up. And I'll talk to you guys all in my next video. My eyelashes were sticking together. That's why I made that really weird face right there. Sorry. Okay. Bye.